Good morning. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're Sean and Ash, and for the past year, we've been turning this 27-foot school bus into our first home. On wheels, that is. We demoed the whole thing and got a little creative at some points. As we near the end of this tiny home build, we're so excited to share our journey with you on our travels around the Americas. Subscribe and come along for the ride. Ashley just assuming her duties. <laughs> uh, I just joke. It's 2020, we can't make those jokes. Anyway. Everything's ready to go. We kind of realized that we want to do our sanding and then, what would you call it? Like a lacquer? Finishing? Finish. The Stain, wood, whatever. Staining the wood with. Once we sand everything, then we're going to go and put our molding on so that we can stain everything together, right? Would you say that that's the best way to do it? Are you asking me or are you telling me? Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> sand it first, cover up the seams, and then uh, lacquer. so that we don't get dust inside and ruin them. That would be a shock. This thing works like a beast. And you really have to be careful when using it because you can easily take off too much, not to mention it can take you for a ride. It can take you for a ride? See, we tried to glue it on the other day, but there's actually already glue on the back of it. So we're just putting it in place and then using a heat gun to melt the glue on. And then once we're able to add our stain and everything, it'll all just, it'll kind of be held in place there. Hey, good morning. Good morning. You don't like it? Not my fave you've done. Plans for the day. We're gonna be sanding the bus like crazy. Kelly Clarkson's like my new jam, even though like she's kinda old. Oh my I really God, she's not old. Well, I, you know, her famous days. Her she, American. What are you Idol talking about? She has a talk show. Well she doesn't sing as much anymore. I think you're being a little judgmental. I'm sorry, I didn't mean Kelly. To, I didn't mean to be judgmental. I'm just saying like she's not making albums anymore. So she got a chicka chicka step your game up. Watch this, kid. Okay. Easy as a, as a shaban. All right, now let's see if this thing even holds. Now, on another episode of Sand. for like tight little spots like this though. Why don't you start on those tough spots? Okay. I'm gonna go get you some headphones. Yeah, that's just keep here going. somewhere, right over there. Well, I'm gonna go get me some headphones then. Okay. So the issue we're having right now is finding the right grit to take off just the liquid nails because we don't want to scratch the wood like Sean did last night. I mean, it's working, but like, me and Ashley, we experienced a little, let's say, put ourselves in a little predicament. I thought the liquid nails would come down a lot more with the sandpaper, but it really does. And it just gets moved around. It's uh, proposed a bit of an issue in a lot of spots, and it doesn't look as nice as we'd hoped. But you know what? We can hide a lot of stuff. You know, lights are gonna go on here. Most likely we'll have curtains over it. Liquid nails was definitely not the, the right choice to use, but it's okay. You know what, you live and you learn. It takes a lot of sanding, but it does look okay. Like, I mean, check out over here. It starts to come off and then it takes a really, really long time. Well, this is what we were kind of shooting for. Also, Sean has a beard now. Stop, it's embarrassing. 
It's whiskery. I know, I don't like it. It's itchy too. Mm. Do I look more distinguished? Okay, so first off. So this is what we've been using the uh, razor for, just kind of slowly and meticulously getting this glue off. And then once it gets to about no, where we're at now, you can get most of it off with the sander. And obviously this is pretty much doubled the amount of time this is gonna take, so. <laughs> but that's all right. Now what I'm gonna be doing, just go around with some more of the veneer and put it on the edges of stuff. Put it here and it, it did come out nice. It does look good. However, I think we're gonna go with the thicker strip on both sides just so that it looks a little more consistent. <laughs> Not for COVID, for us. <laughs> this is why we weren't able to bring you guys a video last week. We're trying to get all of the sanding done and then I think we might attempt our first coat of lacquer today, right? Oh, lacquer. Is that true? I would love to. We that. brought the leaf blower, so we gotta like blow out the whole glass after. <laughs> Pretty much everything is sanded in here. Doesn't look much different. Oh. You alright? Sean's gonna start installing veneer over these sections, right? Yeah, well, I mean, you can't get anything past this one. going to be using to finish all of the walls and everything in the bus. It looks white and then it dries crystal clear so it's a water-based um, clear semi-gloss lacquer. You gotta say that's very similar. So it said right on the can do not shake. That was the first thing that Sean did with uh, with that can so. Stir that only. I'm gonna let that one settle. Happy Saturday! Woo I'm in the bus today and I'm gonna be doing some, we had some issues with our liquid nails situation, I'll say. Uh, we thought it was gonna sand a lot easier, but for example, you know, I thought we could just sand all this, but it doesn't go down very well. So I'm using the scraping tool to take all of it off and then I'm gonna have to go back over and sand it but i'll be honest i mean it did its job it filled in the gap now if i was to do it over again i would use it more like a wood filler finishing up a little bit of sanding scraping and then continuing with the coat of poly or lacquer it brings the all the wood to life like look at the grains and stuff it's like it's amazing it it, it it's really starting to get a vibe in here i'm excited about it what the hell is that Looks like a little piece of Brussels got stuck in here. A little Brussels sprout. A paintbrush. Oh. I ordered this new speaker. Check it out. It's, it's, it looks like it's made of wood. I'm not sure if it's actually wood. It might just be plastic, but it's Aeo, Aeomis? Aeomis. A-O-M-A-I-S. And this thing bumps. A spot that is in shambles. Let me clean this up and I'll show you what it looks like after.
So, I like the fact that we're kind of showing you our mistakes because when I watch videos and I'm researching online, I want people to tell me all of their mistakes so I can learn from their mistakes. Here's kind of a difference of what the wood looks like when it's sanded nice and smooth and then I want it to be protected. We still got some beautifying to do, covering up our sins. I love the look of the lacquer, man. It looks like everything's so shiny and, and pretty.